Hey guys, it's Molly. Today's piece is going to be a silver based Dutch pour and I'm using Amsterdam paints again, just paint and water. Um, I'm using colors that I don't normally use, some the silver, some grays, bluish greens. Um, I cannot wait to get started on this piece. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to do a silver base painting tonight. So I'm using my Amsterdam paints. I'm using just paint and water. The ratio is about, I would say, 30%. Each color is a little bit different, and I don't weigh my stuff out. But I painted the sides already because I wanted to have good coverage. Um, let me blow this out. See how the paint is just moving very freely across the canvas? That's the consistency that you're looking for. Just as soon as I touch my blow dryer on low, the paint immediately starts moving. You wanna get a good coat on there. And you want to use paints, if you're doing paint and water, you want to use paints that have a pretty good um, pigment load to them. Because if you don't, then you run the risk. They have a lot more binders in them for the ones that don't have good pigment pigmentation. And you run the risk of uh, your painting cracking or breaking. So because low pigmented paints, less expensive paints normally, they have a lot more binder in them to pigment ratio. And um, when you have that, you, um, you run the risk of breaking down the binders very quickly and the pigments when you add the water. So let me grab my torch. Let me get the air bubbles out of this. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I haven't done one with a metallic base like this before. Um, so my colors that I'm using, greenish blue the i this color is like amazing i'm using Payne's gray and the Payne's gray that i use is has a very blue tint to it but this is almost black so we'll see how that reacts and then i'm using graphite and all of these are amsterdam colors so let me see i think i want to i think the uh, i don't know which one maybe i'll start with the graphite And then the the silver is actually like a tan color. I don't know. And then here's the Payne's gray. I'm not gonna do too much because it really reads black. I will do maybe a little bit more of that greenish blue because that color is amazing. Okay, and then I do have a little bit, I'm gonna do a couple more paintings later, but I have a little bit of the Amsterdam white and water I'm gonna put in there but I am gonna pour this around it. So the silver will be what blows over the paints. So I don't know, let's see. Okay, so I didn't get a ton of cells and I didn't really know what to expect blowing the metallic over, but that's okay, you don't need cells. I'm just popping air bubbles right now. I thought that the white maybe would react, but that hasn't reacted either. So let's just blow it out and see. Maybe a little bit right here. hair back and just blow just a little bit it's very pretty but definitely not getting any type of like cell reaction that I normally get from this 
Very, very pretty though. Let me torch it a little bit in the center and see if anything comes up. Don't want to torch too much. It's kind of interesting. So as I torch, like all of these little bubbles are coming up. There's no silicone in here. Huh. Interesting. This is actually a really cool painting. I don't think I'm gonna blow or mess with it too much more. I, I think I'll let it dry. I might blow just this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let it dry and see how it goes. I'll show you guys, these, these cells are really cool. They're very circular, which is very odd for just paint and water. So let me show you. I am telling you, man, the learning curve on this is just crazy. As soon as you switch brands of paint, there are all these different things to consider. Look at those little clusters. Wow. This is definitely a reaction of the metallic paint because the other paint and water ones that I've done, they don't look like this. But this is just so cool, look at that. All right, I'll see how it dries. I hope it dries basically just like this. I think it's beautiful, just like this. But I'll show you guys. Okay, let me see if I can. This whole thing is like this shiny metallic silver. It is absolutely stunning. All those cells, so sometimes, when, oh, my hand's shaking. Sometimes when cells like these pop up and the paint is thin, like I was just using paint and water here, the, um, they'll spread a lot and it, they won't even be cells by the end of it. Um, even sometimes when you're working with thin paint and silicone, that will happen, but there's no silicone in this. But when those cells popped up, when I torched, the only ones that got like a little bit wonky were like, those right there, and I still love that organic look. So I cannot be more pleased that graphite came through and the Payne's Gray, which is definitely a different color Payne's Gray. I, I, wow, like what? I love this. Let me see if I can get the shine. But you guys can let me know what you think. I am in love, that greenish blue is gorgeous too. So let me see if I can show you the sides at all. So the sides dripped down. I had a really rough time and I'm glad I painted them ahead of time because you could kind of see through it, but it actually adds like a, like a two-toned effect to it. So I don't know if I'm gonna paint those or not. But there it is. I love it. Silver, ba silver base. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Yep, the painting. Bye.